In this video, I'm going to explain the performance maneuver of the Chandel and then demonstrate a few. Just a beautiful day for flying. Don't know if you can see what I can see, but Sandwich Mountains all standing nice and tall. Out in far distance is Mount Washington. It's actually getting a little bit warm in here. Let's see it down. I'm going to level off at 2,000 feet. Uh, the next move I'm going to do is a chandelle. And basically you want to be able to complete this maneuver or start this maneuver at 1,500 feet AGL or roughly 500 feet MSL in this area. So we'll be starting around 2,000 feet for this maneuver. So the chandelle, again, is a high performance um, aircraft maneuver and pilot maneuver. It's basically a 180 degree turn, climbing turn. To gain maximum altitude in a 180 degree turn. Um, you want to do it such that you basically start out, in a, my view is a cardinal heading. We'll probably pick north, or 360. And our goal is to do a 180 degree turn to a 180 uh, turn. And climb as much as we can. Uh, when we roll out of it, and we're just uh, at that 180 degree point, we should be just above stall speed. We'll hold that there for a second, bring the nose over, level out, and then bring our power back. And about 2,200 feet. I'm going to try to keep that. I do know as we get further north, the altitude goes up the MSL, so my 2,200 is a good, good base. So first thing I'm going to do is I always do my pre-maneuvering checklist. Mixture's rich. Keys on both. Flaps. Trim where I want them. Primer's in a lock. Fuel's on the appropriate tank. We're going to keep our landing light collision lights on just to give ourselves more visibility. I'm going to do a clearing turn. I'm going to start off doing my turn to the left here. I always start off doing clearing turns to the left, and I'm curious why why you do that. Um, curious what your what your feedback is. There's a reason why we go to the left first on clearing turns, and I'm interested to hear why you think we do them. I'll answer the uh, question myself in the description in this video. Roll out of three zero. Nobody on our six there. We'll come back to my three zero three zero heading, and then I'll get back onto three six. Just beautiful day. Can't keep saying enough of it. There's Mount Chicor right in front of me, off my nose. There's zero three zero. Now we'll go back to um, a north heading, because it's really easy to do these. One year in your cardinal heading, just easier to keep track of the math. So to do this maneuver, you want to pick a 45 degree point out the window and a 90 degree point. I've got my 45 and 90. We're going to roll into a 30 degrees bank turn by adding a little bit of back pressure. At my 45, I'll continue that back pressure, but no, no more exceeding uh, 30 degrees of bank. And when I get to my 90 degree point, I will hold that pitch while I start to roll up the bank. When I'm 180, I should be level wings at, at the high pitch that I was at. And so here we go. We're going to roll right into 30 degrees of bank, add full power. There's my third 45 degree point. I'm pitching up, making sure I'm staying coordinated. Going to slowly start to roll the wings level. So I got to my 90 degree point. So roll it out, level wing, yeah, high pitch attitude, and then I'll bring the nose over, and then bring the power back to cruise power. Now when you do this maneuver, to the left it's relatively easy in terms of rudder control, but to the right you've got to be a little bit more aggressive because there's left turning tendencies with the aircraft. So we do another one to the right. There on my right, we're going to roll right into 30 degrees of bank at full power. I'm not really pitching up too much until I get to my 45 degree point. Once I'm at my 45, I'm pitching up, keeping about 30 degrees of bank. When I'm at my 90 degree point, I'm going to start rolling out while keeping that pitch, not letting that pitch sag on me. You notice the airspeed is bleeding off, that's fine, that's what we want to do. Now we just hold that high pitch attitude for a moment and then bring the nose over, let the airspeed build up and bring our power back to cruise setting. Alright, so we're all set up, we're on north heading. Uh, we've got a traffic out there, but should not be a factor. He's off to my okay, right. Traffic north of the airport. We'll keep our eyes out. We're at 3,000. 
and he's below me. So what we're going to do is going to roll right. We're going to start this chandelle again. We're going to roll right into 30 degrees of bank. Add full power. Wait till we get to our 45. In traffic B, cross over midfield for a teardrop for runway two. There's our 30s of bank. We're going to pitch up while holding that bank. There's our 90. I got the traffic now we're slow. We're going to start rolling that out. Going. Staying coordinated. And then we're just going to hold the 1-8 heading for a moment, level wings. And then we'll bring the nose over with the airspeed build up. And then we'll bring that power back to cruise. And that is the Shandell. Right, we're going to do another one. So again, we're going to do a Shandell here. We're going to do it at 3,500 feet on a westerly heading. We're going to make a turn to the left to uh, 090. So again, we're going to get ourselves in cruise altitude, or cruise um, performance. We've got about 2200 RPM. That should be good enough to keep us at our cruise performance. So here we go. We're going to roll right into 30 degrees of bank. i got my 45 degree point. I'm adding that power in this way at the same time. When I get to my, just a little pitch at my 45, now I'm going to pitch up, making sure I stay centered. My 90 degree point, I'm going to start bringing that nose over. We're holding that pitch up, not going to let it drop down. There's my 090 heading. I'm still quite above the call speed of this aircraft. And just hold that heading for a moment, then bring the nose over. So I'm not being so aggressive in this aircraft. We're quite a bit above stall speed when I come out in that, so you could be. More aggressive for light. Romeo is turning left downward for runway two. We're getting terrific performance. We'll do another one to the left here. There on my left. Roll right into 30 degrees of bank. Add that power simultaneously. At my 45 degree point, I'm pitching up. Keeping the ball centered. pitch. I'm slowly rolling those wings out. They're about 60 miles an hour. There we are, holding my 2-7 heading. Just hold it there for a moment. Still quite a bit above stall speed, but much slower. Let the nose come over. Airspeed build up. Bring that power back to your cruise setting. So that's how we do chandelles. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, hit the little notification bell so you see when I come out with a new video.